What's up, YouTube and Amazon? Jefferson here with Sumi Gang Productions. And this is Amclo Plus's CT628 aluminium tripod. I got this on Amazon and I want to thank Emco Plus for sending me this unit to review. I'll provide a link in the description box below and when you use that link, you're also supporting my channel. So thank you so much for your support. Before I start my review, I want to mention one thing. This tripod is primarily made for photographers, so I'll give you my perspective as a videographer. So with that said, here we go. Let's start off with the construction of this tripod. As mentioned earlier, this is made out of aluminium and high graded plastic. So far, I've never had an issue with build quality, which is great considering the price of this tripod. This tripod uses my preferred locking system when it comes to extending the legs. These switch locks are a lot more convenient and a lot faster than the twist locks. There's also three sections to expand the legs which makes this tripod pretty tall. When compared to my current tripod which is a Zumi Q555, the CT628 slightly beats it by an inch or so. All three legs are locked in with this groove which prevents it from spinning around in any direction. I personally prefer this feature and like it a lot. When you move your way up from the tripod, you'll find a spring hook which is located in the bottom center. This is used to weigh your tripod down which makes your shots a lot more stable and secure. This tripod is capable of holding a rig up to 17.6 pounds which is about 8 kilograms when you convert it. This tripod uses a traditional free ball head with the fluid pan head for those perfect and smooth shots. Since this is a free ball head, it's not ideal for videographers. However, that doesn't mean you can't use it. You're still able to get very smooth pan shots, but when it comes to tilt shots, well, good luck with that. You can manage to get it, but it's going to take a lot more work compared to having a tripod head that has a fluid tilt feature. Because this tripod head isn't great for video, I switched the tripod head with my Koli Hoda video head. Just like most tripods out there, you're not limited in just using the included tripod head. You're able to remove it and replace it with anything you want, which is definitely one of my favorite features. To simply do that, hold on to this ring lock and make sure you're not holding onto the actual tripod head or else you'll mess up the fluid pan head. Once you made sure you have a good grip, twist this part counterclockwise and you're able to remove this whole part. Just make sure after you loosen it, to untwist it with the tripod head and lock this part so the screw doesn't fall out. This is how it looks like when you remove the tripod head. Initially, most tripod head uses a 3 8 inch thread. However, if for whatever reason you need a quarter inch thread, you could simply unscrew this part and when you flip it around, you'll find there's a quarter inch screw. To install the whole part back, Make sure you have the desired screw, whether it's a quarter inch or 3 8 inch, and simply screw it back and tighten everything in. If you're a little worried reinstalling it back with the tripod head, then follow this procedure. Insert the screw into the tripod head and keep going until it stops. The bolt doesn't really matter where it's at. Put the ring lock in between the screw and in the tripod. Twist everything clockwise until you feel a resistance. At this point, you could use a ring lock to tighten everything and you're all done. Overall, I really like this tripod and for what I use it for, it does the job really well. Personally, this tripod feels lightweight, but obviously, this is a subjective opinion. I don't use this feature, but if you're into it, then you're in luck. You're able to convert this tripod so you're able to get really low to the ground. To do this, Unscrew the spring hook and remove both the hook and the rubber tab. Untwist the neck lock and make sure you loosen it enough to remove the whole rod. Take it out and reinsert the rod from the bottom. Make sure you thread it correctly since there's only one way for it to go in. Once it goes in, simply tie in the twist lock and you're all done. Obviously, make sure you don't have the camera installed to make the whole process easier. I'm sure you're wondering if the picture or video will be upside down. Yes, it will be. You have to edit this in your preferred editing software. However, if your camera has the ability to fix it in the settings, then you could just do it there. That's pretty much it when it comes to this tripod. If you have any questions or comment, be sure to leave them in the comment box below and I'll try my best to answer any questions you may have. If you like this video or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. 
Like always, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. You'll be fine. All right, with all that said, let's get started with the ones that I really like about this keyboard. Obviously, this is a full QWERTY keyboard, and if for whatever reason you're not familiar with